Well, The View's Joy Behar used her time with the Vice President of the United States today to go after the panelists at the Fox News Google debate last week, including yours truly. Ms. Behar purported to be aghast at how none of the panel chastised the audience for some booing in response to a gay soldier's question. What did you think of the booing that went on in, the other day about the gay soldier? Well, did you, know, you have a visceral I, I, uh... response to it? I did have a visceral response. I'm not sure it's because my son spent a year in Iraq. Mm -hmm. And I know my son and all the f kids with him, um, kids, they're grown men, um, I don't think they give a damn whether a guy firing a rifle to protect them is gay or straight. I don't think they care about that. And look, this kid risks his life. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. kid is there for a year. And I, quite frankly, I, I thought it was reprehensible. Mm -hmm. right. And no one spoke What's up. That? that entire panel, not one person said anything. Well, having actually been at the debate, I can tell you that there were perhaps a total of two boos in an auditorium of over 5,000 people. Moreover, were the boos in fact directed, as Ms. Behar contends, at the gay soldier or at his question on the issue of gay rights in the military, which is very controversial? Listen for yourselves. Do they boo when they see that it is a gay soldier or when he makes clear he wants gay rights protected? In 2010, when I was deployed to Iraq, I had to lie about who I was because I'm a gay soldier and I didn't want to lose my job. My question is, under one of your presidencies, do you intend to circumvent the progress that's been made for gay and lesbian soldiers in the military? Yeah, I, I, I would say... Well, those attending these debates are entitled to their point of view. And in this anchor's view, it is not the panelists' role to correct those views or chastise them who hold them. If an audience is disruptive, that's one thing. But this audience was respectful, with virtually no exceptions. To have suggested otherwise might have pleased some GOP critics, but would not have been consistent with the facts.